Good morning, good morning. Fortunately, it's not a Sunday fun day. We had to start off on a Monday because uh, of my surgery last week, which everything went well. Not gonna lie though, it was in the nose. I still feel like I got kicked, but kicked in the face by Clydesdale, so that's fun to deal with. Gotta take Tylenol. But we got out here this morning. We got hooked up to a trailer, come to find out. Well, that's not the trailer we're using. We're actually doing a trailer swap. We're gonna be picking up this loaded trailer, that loaded trailer right there. So what we're doing is we're gonna drop this other trailer, hook up to this trailer and get on a stepping. that's doing is it's helping lower the trailer as you see there's a little bit of space right there so what that air dump does is essentially it lowers the trailer so what you do is you don't put the landing gear all the way down you, you leave it about an inch to two inches off the ground dump the air in the air suspension just like how he did and then you pull out so then that way the next person that decides to back up underneath the trailer It'll actually lift the trailer up so it's easier to raise up the landing gear. It's a hell of a lot easier that way. You'll see as soon as he backs up underneath it, it's gonna raise up that landing gear. Should have broken out my tripod to hold the camera because my feet is hurt now. And we're gonna finish this real quick. We just unstrapped, we untarped. Now we're just waiting to get unloaded. We're just sitting here playing the waiting game. There's one truck ahead of us. That's the truck ahead of us. But once we get unloaded, we're headed over to the Grove. Um, which you guys are gonna be seeing a lot of that. <laughs> and then once we get picked up there, we're headed up to Michigan. So we got over here to the Grove. Uh, just sent him in to go check in, do the paperwork and everything. It's his fourth week now. Um, big thing with being in the fourth week is you, you know you're gonna start running the show. You're gonna take control. You're gonna do a lot more. So that's why he's in there. Been here a couple times. He already knows what to do. Um, but he's gonna go in, check in, 
the paperwork and then he'll come out and let me know what we're doing. And essentially, more or less this week, I'm kind of just assisting him. Uh, he needs me to do something, kind of finish out miles, stuff like that. That's pretty much what I'm doing. Uh, so this week's pretty much just a chill week. It'll be pretty nice. Plus Thursday, I got another doctor's appointment. Hooray! Again. All right, so this is what we woke up to this morning. It was a winter wonderland. All nice and white. Actually, I kind of knew this was going to happen. The last 40 miles coming in last night, at like 2 in the morning, it was just the snowstorm hit. It got pretty bad. I had to slow down. Uh, but as you can see, we already got unloaded. It's already done. We're just waiting on the next load. And obviously, because it's still the holiday season, uh, just freight's running low right at the moment, so we're just waiting on, on something to pop up. Plus, I'm also being, I guess, a pain in the ass. I got my follow-up to my surgery on Thursday so they can take a look at my nose and let me know if I'm good to go. I'm not gonna lie, this thing hurts. I used to have a septum piercing and that didn't hurt as bad as this does. You can't blow your nose. You're not supposed to breathe through your nose. You really can't do anything with your nose. So, I can't wait until I can use my nose again. <laughs> but, yeah, we get this next load and we keep trucking on.
Sweet. Uh, just a quick update from the last cut. Fast forwarding. Uh, we got unloaded. We waited all day for a load. And unfortunately, due because it is New Year's Eve and tomorrow's New Year's Day, there's just nothing um, freight wise for us right at the moment. So, us, well, me and my trainee, and actually, there's a couple other uh, TMC guys next to us. We're all stuck here until Thursday. It's not a bad thing. Uh, I mean, what, in six years that I've been with TMC, this is the second time this has ever happened. So it's, it's really rare that this ever happens. The cool thing is, is you get compensated for it too anyway. So, I mean, stuff happens. It's just like any other job or any other, uh, any, any other industry. This is how it is sometimes. But cool thing is, uh, even though it is New Year's Eve, we are stuck in the truck at a truck stop for the weekend. It's not a loss. All right, one. I got Disney Plus, yeah. I know it's my cell phone, but I got Disney Plus. I've almost watched everything. I'm on uh, Inside Out, and I'm watching that without a kid, so I really don't have an excuse. Um, ran out of stuff and then went inside and got a pizza i've already started eating it it's pretty delicious ran out of mountain dew though i'm gonna have to go get me some more of that <laughs> yeah, so we're home. Uh, he's already got his stuff packed. Uh, his missus came and got him, and he's moving on. Uh, he has one more week, but he's going to go with a dedicated trainer uh, because he's going to a dedicated account, obviously. Um, but good dude. I mean, I, I really don't have any complaints about him. So I think he'll do very good. Uh, now I'm just uh, sitting here, going to pack my stuff up, get ready to leave. Just waiting, cause Sears, <laughs> if you, I'm a hundred percent, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, if you can avoid ever having, to, ever having to deal with Sears, don't ever go there. You got a washer and dryer. This thing has been nothing but a nightmare since day one that we've had this washer. Yeah. Stupid. Bought a front loader. Uh, learned my lesson there. Never going to do that again. But two, for the past two years, we've had issue after issue after issue. And yet we don't have enough issues within a certain time frame for them to constitute a replacement. You go Sears, get a warranty. It's gonna help you out in the long run because their stuff is just straight, straight doo-doo. All right, it's crap. Don't, don't use Sears. Stay away from them. All right, just let them die. Don't, it's like Apple. Stay away from them. Don't, <laughs> just garbage. So. There's my rant. See you guys later.